who made this? I just want to talk. So I kind of want to discuss this, or at least kind of go over my thoughts about this. While everyone honestly kind of has like an agreement that this list for V Premium isn't really complete, I think this ban list just personally attacks me, if I'm going to be quite honest. The main issue here um, is that it honestly feels incomplete, and I feel like honestly Percival shouldn't even be in there. That's just my personal opinion. So let's just go ahead and just kind of go over what the V Premium ban list is. We're starting off with Hamiel is straight up banned in V Premium for Angel Feather. And that was kind of like the win condition for Gavriel for the most part. We have Meep for Melody being hit to one. So not as much like, you know, toolboxing, I guess you could call it. Just like filling up, like going through your deck, getting one to hand, one to soul. I get it, sure. Problem is, is that I don't really think, I mean, I just don't know, but I don't think Melody is as problematic as Prism. That's just me. And then we have Gold Paladin. We have Gurgit unrestricted, and we have Percival just being hit to straight one. Why? <laughs> um, I understand some might think that Percival is a little bit unfair, but if you compare it to what's not getting hit, it seems a little fair. Big thing to notice here is that this is the only restriction list that we've seen. We've seen nothing for standard, nothing for premium. This is the only thing for V premium. Luard and Prism are untouched. Even Night Rose got away with some stuff, and I could agree, Night Rose doesn't even need to be hit with anything. So why did Golds? <laughs> so let's just go ahead and go on to like what happened for the rest of the thing. So we have new announcements for the new anime, which is Will Dress, uh, starting in July, featuring some new characters, these three, and a new design for Yu Yu. Um, we got some more news about set five. We're gonna be seeing this new Dark States uh, ride line starting next Tuesday. Continuing on, we got some new support. So this today we revealed the support for the Dragon Empire Grade 3 along with some support cards that are Dark State cards. So they kind of, they go hand in hand. So starting off, let's just go ahead and talk about what the whole aesthetic is. So it's a whole Ninetail Fox thing. Uh, Ninetail Fox Tamayura. Same thing as all the grade zeros when you ride, you go second, or when you go second, you draw. Um, when this unit is placed from riding the grade zero, you look at the top seven cards of your deck, choose up to one Ririmi and Rirami, so those are the dark state cards, um, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck, and then glitter it has the glitter effect for uh, Tamayura. Grade two Tamayura. When this unit is placed by writing from the grade one, choose one of your Ririmi or Rirami from your drop, put them into your hand. So that's for like the ride deck if you just want to discard those. Same with the glitter effect. And here is Ririmi and Rirami. So Ririmi is basically when it's placed on rear, if you have Rirami out on the board, you soul blast two, choose an opponent's rear guard, and they put it into their soul. And then the glitter is for Tamayura. Uh, when this is retired from the guard circle, you put it into your soul. And then we have Rirami, which is when it's placed on rear. If you have Ririmi on the rear guard, you soul blast two, you draw. Pretty decent. And then the glitter effect is if you have Tama, Tama Yura as your vanguard, when it's put on guard, you put it in your soul. Same as Ririmi. So then Tama Yura skill, the main uh, card of the ride line, is at the beginning of your ride phase, uh, all your front will get five k to the end of turn. And then when it attacks your cannon blast one, you pick one of the following. You can either choose Ririmi and Rirami from your soul and you call them the rear. Um, or you choose a card from your soul and you call it to rear. So if you have Ririmi out or Rirami out, you just pick the other one, call it out. Um, or you could do the, uh, the effect of calling both out. Yeah. So you could either just pick anything or you could pick both. So pretty decent. I like how it's kind of fitting that Tsukiyomi aesthetic. So, you know, fits the vibe. And then we also got an order card for it, which does exactly basically seem the like Tsukiyomi. Uh, plays cost with Soul Blast 2, Blitz Order. If you have Vanguard at Tamayura, choose one of your Vanguards and it gets the ability all of your opponent's front row units get minus 10k until end of turn. That's pretty dope because you can honestly make really 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 like defensive plays and just ruin your opponent's whole plan for the board 
that's just a very messy way of saying that but yeah i like i kind of like this uh shiryuki aesthetic and then we got more lyrical stuff that's already coming out in english so that was it for basically the stream we got the shiryuki 2.0 it's using some mixed uh dark state dragon empire stuff which is pretty actually really cool i like this a lot better than the plant token stuff they showed us uh before and yeah and then we also got like sp art for set five and then they're using different artworks for each of the packs as well so now that we kind of covered like the the overall of what we learned this week let's just go back and talk about this real quick so the main thing is obviously hemiel um banned because Gavriel good i guess and um percival yeah uh, let's, so I just kind of want to say, I understand, uh, maybe Hamio just cause it has a few tops, but I haven't seen, really seen, at least in the English format, any gold paladin tops at all, at least as far as I've seen, as far as I know, but let's take a look at bro. And I know everyone's going to say the same thing, but let's just go ahead and talk about it. This is British Road Rumble Online, right? Let's just take a look at all the formats and what's, what we got. Mm-hmm. Mm, look at that. Okay. Wow, look at look, there it is again. Again. Okay, okay, okay. That was that was that was uh Asia. Let's take a look at Europe. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh wow, look at that again. Oh wow, prisms again. Oh, prisms again. Okay, cool, cool. Vanquisher gets a little little feet. That's cool. Let's take a look at uh, North America. Um, oh, well, would you look at that? There's another uh, <laughs> another uh, prism. Oh, look! Wow, look at that! Another prism. Okay, okay. The Godrail, like like we see in the restriction list. Maelstrom came in clutch, right? There's another Maelstrom list. Cool. Night Rose list. Another prism list and another Luard list. Oh, that's crazy. Fifth to eighth. Top eight. Um, what didn't I see? All I'm saying is that if there's supposed to be an update to English restriction list soon, I want to see something different because Prominence Core doesn't deserve this. It really doesn't. It's not even it's not even that strong of a deck. Why would you just eliminate like the most important key card to his combo? <laughs> Anyways, that's enough for my my favorite card got banned or limited rant. So there we go. That's pretty much it. Bye. Look at the mask of my boy.